Hello and thank you for coming back. So today I kind of wanted to show you something a little bit different. The other day I was on Facebook and one of the groups that I'm in, one of the SVG groups, was having like a little mini contest and if you were the first person to, um, to say mine for a graphic, they were going to send you it for free with the stipulation that you made something and tagged them within the next few days. So I won this serpent hair don't care creature that, um, that you see. And so I started to put together a project. Now what I originally had in mind was to do like a haunted house in the background out of paper. So it was a little bit three dimensional and then do a print and cut of um, this Medusa character and put that maybe um, a few different types of uh, layers on top of her to make her a little bit more three-dimensional as well, but mostly print and cut for her. Um, after I designed it, um, I kind of really liked it the way it was and thought that it would look really nice on a shirt. And so I thought I would do a, um, a print and cut on HTV and then um, press it onto a shirt. So this is the final design that I ended up with. Um, I had a I had this design in my uh, collection of graphics and so I just I threw this together really quick but I really like it because I think it looks really awesome. So I'm putting this on the heat transfer vinyl or heat transfer paper Nina Jet Pro Soft Stretch. This is for light colors. Um, I bought it from Amazon and it came in a pack of 25 and for about $14, so that comes out to $0.56 cents a piece, which is not very expensive at all. Um, this also comes in a, an opaque pack so that you could put it on dark colored shirts. I'm going to put a, um, a link in the description below of where you can find the transfer paper. And I will also um, be showing you me pressing this onto a shirt. So this is my design. Basically, um, I just brought in the, um, the haunted house and I, I um, ungrouped the, uh, the character and I put her down here to the left and then I moved the, um, the script or the wording up to the top and then I changed the, uh, the serpent hair into an orange. Thing you gotta remember on when you're doing a print on HTV is to mirror your image. So I'm going to go ahead and select it all, right click, flip horizontally. It's ready to go. I'm going to do file, print. Today I'm printing on my Office Jet 4650 as it's in the office that I'm working at today. And I'm going to go ahead and print and I'll meet you over at the printer. One thing that I did want to call out, as you can see, is I used the word print and cut, but I actually did not do a print and cut. I just used the print feature. Um, so that is why there are no registration marks on this um, particular file. Once I started looking at it, I decided that it pretty much took, there was really no way I could put registration marks on it anyways, because I would have had to reduce my, um, my photo and I wasn't going to do that. So if I need to, I might use scissors to, to trim a little bit off where, um, where it needs to be. But because this is, um, the transfer paper is for light materials, you're not gonna see anything that is on white and I'll just trim away a little bit if, if I need to. So I just wanted to, uh, to call that out as well. Alright, so this is my design, all printed and ready to go. To save some time, I have already pressed the shirt for a few seconds to get rid of any wrinkles and moisture. I also folded the shirt in half um, so that I have a nice crease down the center. And I also folded um, 
this uh, design in half as well so that I can grab the center as well. So let's put this on. And I'm going to go about a couple inches down maybe. I just eyeball stuff. My philosophy is when you put it on, you're not really going to see if I measure it an inch or inch and a half. So I'm just going to line it up with the, uh, the seam that I created. And that looks about good to me. I use parchment paper. I'm going to throw my parchment paper over there. I did already preheat my um, my machine to 380 for this particular product, and it should press for 20 seconds. So let's put this on. Let's swing it over, and we'll do 20 seconds now. And by the magic of YouTube, 20 seconds is up. So let's pull that off. And this is a warm peel, so I'll go ahead and peel this while it is warm. Use two hands here. Perfect. Sign came off. What I always do is just um, press it again just for a few seconds just to make sure that everything is, is in there nice and tight. I'm just going to do that really quick. And there, you have a nice shirt. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, bye-bye.